right, y'all, welcome back to another video with Ralph Cornell, AKA Car Show Ralph. And I'm here with two ladies that's been a staple in the car game for a minute now. I want y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hey, everybody, my name is Caddy Queen Witt, also known as Whitney. If you know me, you know me. Um, <laughs> um, I drive a green Caddy on eights. So most people think it's a guy, that's me. <laughs> I'm Foxy, everybody knows me as 300 Queen on 30s. Um, same here, I got the 300 on 30s. Um, same thing, think it's a dude, it's not. So, <laughs> that's it. Let's take it back to the beginning, right? What got you guys into the car scene? For me, I would say my god brother. He started, you know, from the very beginning with the OGs. So most of them know him. It's Manny. So yeah, yeah. everybody know who he is. Back <laughs> in the day, they be like, oh yeah, I know him. So here we are. Just migrants kept it in the family. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Definitely salute to the OG Manny. We know who he is. Yes. All right, and what about you, Foxy? Um, let's see. To the car scene, I started in Rough Riders uh, with the bikes, and then graduated to uh, the cars. That was it. Um, after. Um, I left with Rough Riders. I started a uh, hustle heavy lifestyle and just been going there, going ever since. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, as far as car wise, what was the car that got you guys, um, or ladies, what got you ladies, <laughs> you know, onto the car scene like your first build? I'm sure it wasn't these two. <laughs> no. I know y'all ain't just jump off the porch and killing them like that. No. Mine actually was a Chrysler 300. It's uh, the M, the special edition. So I've always been a Chrysler girl. I had a couple other cars in between, but Chrysler's been my thing, the 300. I guess I'll go. But <laughs> <laughs> so I had a Volkswagen Passat. That was my first car. I had peanut butter on the inside, outside jelly. But <laughs> you know, that's what was my first car. Then I migrated and I got a Ford. And man, he was, kept, was on my back. Why'd you get a Ford? You supposed to get a Caddy. I'm like, I'm not joining. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, get a caddy. You should have got a K every day. This, that's all he would say. Then I still was, I still ain't get another caddy. I got another Ford. He's like, why you get that? Did a caddy. So eventually, I did get a caddy, and I hooked it up, put some tears on it. That was my first build, um, and it's just been up from there. Dope stuff. All right. So car club affiliation. Tell us about. Um, tell us what car club you rep and the affiliation and you know what goes on in the car club scene right now with you guys so for me i'm with caddy ink we ride all cadillacs all mix um models of cadillac so um that would be like we got the old school we got the new school popping off so that's all we rep um what goes on with us we pretty much do a little bit of everything we do back to school events We've done car wash events um, and just toy drives. Like we like to give back and things of that nature. Okay, for me, <laughs> um, I'm solo riding. Actually, um, I guess I just ride with whoever you know is doing something. I'll participate. Um, I don't have no, you know, nothing. But um, I'm always gonna be hustle heavy till I die. So they know, still family. But. Uh, as for having a current club, you know, just like to be out there. I ride with Caddy. I'm the uh, the, the <laughs> <laughs> affiliate Caddy in 300. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's take let's let's talk about this car show stuff that y'all are going on, right? So a couple years ago, I went to. I think I had a car show at the same place. Yeah. Was that a double trouble car show or was that different? Like. How did this car show thing get to where it is right now? Take, take me back to the beginning. Like, did y'all say, all right, we're gonna come together, we're gonna host a car show as two females? Cause it wasn't double trouble, right? No, it wasn't double trouble. Okay. Um, we missed that. <laughs> so we did one um, with all of our crew called Big Will Mafia. Um, and that show was good, but it wasn't as big as what double trouble was. And I think people got turned off because they thought you only had to have big wheels and that's not what we wanted to promote. So we switched some things up, we you know, partnered with a couple of people to see like, hey, like we want to have everybody come. It's not it's about unity. It's not just about who has the biggest wheels. So I think people got 
you know, like, um, yeah, discouraged and didn't want to come out. So we made it something bigger and better and it worked. Yeah. And we do a lot of traveling. Yeah. So that's how we got a lot of people that to come from out of town. So I think we do more traveling than staying here, the locals. So um, Definitely. we got a lot of people that come from out of town to come and. We just wanted to do our thing. We two females. We was happy. We didn't know what the outcome was going to be. Nope. But we definitely was excited about it and made it happen. Yeah. Yeah, y'all definitely made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> look, these car shows look easy to put on. No, no it's a take, lot take, of Take work. us a little bit oh behind the scenes. You got to expose goodness. everything. Oh, my but goodness. But I'm sure they're not as simple as they look. No. You can put everything on the flyer. And <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> I think you might as well just make a picture and just post it and then let people ask you all the questions yeah because you can put time date location on the fly and people will still come right under your post and say well what's the address it's on what's the, the flyer time? what's the date it could even be in a different color so you can see it <laughs> you still um they still won't see it so yeah right that's the most probably one of the most frustrating part yeah. is the questions which you already answered but got to keep answering the same questions that is actually there so it's like literally the flyer be there and they'll ask the questions underneath the flyer it's like so. and then we try to put it out as soon as possible so give people time to, a lot of people when they came out show they was just like releasing their bills like i just dropped my paint mm -hmm. i just dropped my audio so that was kind of dope at our show they was doing their first reveal with their car did the video just want to be a little bit more re um, interactive with the people we want to be a little bit more interactive okay. with everyone so that's why we did the videos instead of just kept you know okay. promoting the flyer the flyer you get tired of seeing the same flyer all the time so just keeping people updated with that's the video interaction yeah. help. like people like to listen yeah. versus reading yeah so well, we try to keep it keep it going every every detail we kept just making videos making videos so that was i think that helped a lot yeah. as well. I mean we all call we all car people right I'm a car person myself yeah is there anything else that you all enjoy outside of cars outside of cars I like to travel and my job used to have me on the road traveling all the time like I used to be home for the weekend going for a week home for the weekend I'll leave I'll literally will fly out Sunday night and fly back Friday night just so I could be home to do car stuff um, <laughs> A lot of people I feel like that didn't make it out to our show, that wanted to be at our show, didn't come because they was like, oh well, she doesn't support me. And I'm like, well, I can't help that I'm out of the country for work. <laughs> or I'm in, a, in out of the country for another event, like maybe a wedding or something. So it's like, that's what I like to do outside of um, cars travel. Um, I say travel. <laughs> <laughs> travel. I've been sitting down this for a little while, but I'll be back outside. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, I think for me, it's mainly my kids. Like, I just do a lot with my kids. So, um, if it's not car stuff, you'll see me with my kids. So, that's yeah. life, really, for me. So. I see y'all got the little ones out with y'all right exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's never a dull moment. No. <laughs> In the car world. What's next for all for y'all? Obviously, we, we don't want to get no spoilers. <laughs> no big spoilers. But, you know, if y'all can drop, drop a little bit of what's coming next. Either show related, car related, build related. Well, there's definitely events. a part two to Double Trouble it Car is, Show. So, is. be on the lookout for that date. Um, car related, <laughs> you know, car stuff. Yeah. There's going to be some changes. Just, just, just stay uh, tuned. Yeah, yeah. just stay tuned. <laughs> Um, Double Trouble Part 2 is definitely going to be bigger and better. Um, everybody ex was like excited about the VIP. Like Whoever wasn't in VIP was like, we're definitely getting VIP because <laughs> all the things that we had for yeah. VIP. So if you see VIP this year, you're going to love next year. So just be ready how, you know, for everything. How we going to tap next year? I don't know. I do. I got a little something. So we ain't talking about it. <laughs> Just get VIP. Yeah, that's just it. get that's all I can tell that's you. It. That's all I can tell you. Just get VIP. And they mm -hmm. gonna sell out quick. They gonna sell out quick. Yeah. <laughs> I try to get at y'all, they like, nope, sold out. I'm like, dang. <laughs> yeah, they did. sold out, yeah. <laughs> People dragged their feet a little bit, like, I don't know, but after they saw it, it was like, yeah. we're gonna VIP. That's it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. 
Alright, y'all hear that? Definitely and get the VIP. I think a lot of people get discouraged about getting VIP. Like, well, what does it come with? Because you go to a lot of shows and you don't get anything from VIP. Like, it's just like, oh, you're a VIP and you're in the front parking, but that's it. So, so the last segment I have for y'all is called the Random Five. Where I ask both of you guys five random questions. Oh, answer them as fast as you can. Don't even think about it, alright? I'm not going first. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well she ain't going first. It's on yeah. you, Foxy. What's your dream car? Ooh, my dream car, uh, 1969 Chevelle. That's it. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> it's on you. Um, an uh, Aston Martin DB9. Woo! Yeah. Smokehouse Gray. <laughs> That's on baby. That's on baby right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, favorite restaurant? I have a favorite. I like to just go wherever. I like to eat. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. That was good. Okay. Yep. Favorite destination that you enjoy visiting? Right now, my favorite destination. It could that be out the country, in the states, be wherever. My last favorite destination that I've been to was South Korea. Like I didn't want to go. Is that Korea? South Korea. Ooh, like Asia's definitely on this. How was it? I didn't want to go. She did not want to go. Not wanna she go. cried it about it. It was a work trip, and I she dreaded it. And I had not the to most go. fun. Like it was nice. <laughs> the food was good. Everything's fresh. Like the people are nice. We are definitely behind in America. Like way, way, way behind. But it's definitely a must to see. If you haven't gone, go out the country. It don't have to be as far as Asia, but definitely go see some things. Well, mine ain't over there, but it's um, <laughs> but it's definitely um, a tie between Costa Rica and Jamaica. Those places are beautiful. Costa Rica is just nothing but love. Jamaica, I love jerk chicken, so I can eat over there all day long. But all day, yeah. <laughs> that was my second choice. <laughs> yeah. Next question, question number four: What keeps you going every day? My family, my kids, they keep me going every single day. Even Judy. Judy keeps me going every day because I got to pay <laughs> for her. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, my, for sure. That's that definitely that's my kid. family, my kids. So I definitely, uh, all of the above, yeah. Yeah, I would say my family too because they definitely depend on me. So I got to be there for them. Last and final question. Y'all ready for this one? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we got this. Okay. <laughs> How do you want your legacy to be remembered? Dang, that was deep. Trendsetters. Like, I would love to have us be remembered as trendsetters. Um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Just to be known for trendsetters. Like, we, we a positive role models to people, you know, just that's coming up. Just being able to be like, dang, like, they started something. They was always positive about and it. And down to earth. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I would love. Cool, cool, cool. And where can people find you at? All social medias, websites, wherever. YouTube, wherever. I'm Caddy Queen with the E's of threes inside of um, Queen. And I'm on IG. Um, that's all. You don't need to be finding me nowhere else. <laughs> this well, Caddy Queen with. For me, it's 300 Queen on 30s. I, um, on my YouTube, IG, Snapchat. I don't really be on Snapchat like that, but it's there. That's about it. So from one OG to another, y'all that stuck behind me and bringing in the bringing in the range like super, super, super heavy. I want to say I'm proud of y'all. Like the show was top tier. Thanks. And y'all know I used to host shows back in the day. Like the whole presentation, everybody just had a ball. Everybody just had a ball. Like the VIP, I thought was genius. The bottles, the plaques, other than the trophies. I want to definitely give y'all a big salute. Keep doing y'all thing in this car community. Keep holding on and keep going forward. And thank this you. is for you guys just to Aww. give y'all y'all flowers and y'all roses. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. So you said you having another show? No. <laughs> I heard that too. You I know thought what? I heard that. I thought you know I did. It, I it, think it's, it's time. It's, 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 it's crazy. I, I think about it every now and then. <laughs> I don't know. Give, give, Give me, give me some time to think about it. Okay. Give me some time to think yeah, about it. Yeah, so we can then interview you at your show. Right, remember, right, remember right. Remember when you said. Right, <laughs> bring exactly. Bring it full circle. Yeah. See, they putting the pressure on me. Y'all got to cut the camera. <laughs> All right, but look, I appreciate everybody for tuning in, for watching this video. Make sure y'all go tap into Double Trouble, Foxy, and Wit on all social medias. Look out for that next event that's going to be coming soon.
This is Rel Purnell, aka Carl Show Rel, signing off. And as I always say, stay positive, stay motivated. Salute.